Hello guys and welcome back to the Cricket Analyst. I'm your host Rishabh Jain and as you know, Australia defeated New Zealand in the first test match by 172 runs. But can they do it again? Because Australia though they uh, dominated the first test because Cameron Green came as a saviour, played a 174 run knock which I think was the main difference between the both teams because if that knock wouldn't have been played I think New Zealand would have won that test match pretty easily but I think that those are the players who make a difference for the teams. So we'll be talking about the second test match happening at Christchurch, Hagley Oval and don't before we start keep subscribing the Cricket Analyst and let's start with the video. So if we talk about first thing Australia defeated New Zealand by 172 runs in the first test. What mistakes did New Zealand make? Will Oruk looked very, very ordinary, though he performed really well against South Africa, the B team, but he looked pretty ordinary in that test match. And Scott Kuglijin, they bought as a they got as a um, like batting all rounder. He perform he underperformed, I would say. He underperformed. He, I don't know, they didn't come up with a plan to tackle Australia with a short ball. So Scott Coglegion was just bowling short, short, short and Cameron Green was just hitting him all around the park. But the main thing is they missed Mitchell Santner in that test and I think they will be getting Mitchell Santner in this test because the ball turned a lot, turned a lot, like really a lot and Nathan Lyon took the full advantage of it. He took a 10-4. In this, uh, in the last test match, and he became he broke some records as a spinner. So, I think they missed Mitchell Santner a lot, and they got Glenn Phillips stepping up, taking taking a fiver. But I think that was not enough. So, the main thing is they will be bring, bringing Ben Sears into the side. He will be making his test debut, and the main thing is like one more thing that will Neil Wagner be there because Neil Wagner has been retired uh, from test cricket but can they think of bringing him for this test match just to save their image in New Zealand because if New Zealand loses this test match they're gone for a good time like you don't lose to Australia in your own backyard so that's the main thing they have to see like can they defeat Australia in the second test match and if we talk about Mitchell Santner will be coming back in this test. Ben Sears will make his test debut. Villarook is, I think, out of this test match. So maybe a player will be coming in. And if we talk about Australia, Australia will be looking to uh, finish the series 2-0. Uh, I think they will be going with the same playing 11. But the main issue is, we have to talk about is Manas Labushin. Manas Labushin has not been able to score runs at all. And his average has dropped below 50 for the first time since 2019 so can he can he at least score some runs in this test match just to save himself and like still keep his position up for the first test match when Australia plays India uh, at Perth so that's the main question like he has not been able to score runs and a lot of experts have suggested that take a break from the game which he will be getting eventually because the IPL is here he is not playing the IPL and uh, they will. there is not a lot of domestic uh, season left anyway. So, I think he should take a break, contemplate, uh, come back to the game with freshness because he has been, he just like goes cricket, 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 24 hours. So, he needs something to distract himself. And even Steve Walk said that, Ricky Ponding said that in the SEN podcast where uh, Greg Vettely talked to him about it. And a lot of experts have suggested it as well. So, that's the main thing I think Manus Labushi needs to look at. And then uh, I think Stephen Smith as a new opener role has not been able to perform. Those, though he scored a 90 in the Australia versus West Indies second test match at the GABA. But I think he should be able to score some runs in this test match. We'll be talking about him in detail. Like how can he uh, play the ball better in New Zealand. Because New Zealand bowlers have been smart with him. So... He has a common mistake, which I'll be talking about in my another video when we analyze his uh, footwork, his batting stance and everything. So 
and I think Scott Boland might get a chance, should get a chance in this test match because Scott Boland has looked very dangerous in the net session yesterday. So maybe a, a chance for him because they are, he has not been given a lot of chance to play and he can trouble the New Zealand batters with his consistent line and length. He can nip the ball both the sides in swing out swing. So that's the main thing. And what am I looking at? Australia, I think, should be winning the series 2-0. But if New Zealand is given is gonna give them a good competition, that will then it will make this test exciting. So uh, that's it from my guys. Uh, keep uh, subscribing to Cricket Analyst, following my Twitter handles and my Insta handles and my TikTok handles, my social handles, I would say. And I will be back in my next video. Thank you guys and see you.